Last episode in Vanilla Reward, we gouged a man's eyes out eight times so that he could get magic powers. We've got off the deep end. Ah, uh, but I mean, how many of us could have seen this coming during base game Rimworld? Certainly not Codex, because he's not seeing very much anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean to do him like that. Maybe he's seeing more than anyone else could possibly imagine, given that we got all the way up to silent level six. Now, as a side effect of those rituals where we peeled eight of his eyes, we also happened to get enough points to reform the ideology. I said, what should we do with it? And that was a mistake. There was a comment with hundreds of upvotes saying go for transhumanists. There was a comment with hundreds of upvotes saying go for pain is virtue. There was a very highly upvoted comment saying roll the dice and let nature take its course. So I think I've got a compromise for every single one of those. This way, absolutely no one can be happy. Well, I was thinking afterwards, right? If we roll the dice completely randomly out of everything we've got, we could end up with a real stinker. Like we could suddenly get nature primacy or tunneler, which... Don't make any sense whatsoever, like tree connection. Totally irrelevant, random stuff that that, that might just kind of poo-poo things. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to meet all three of you in the middle. Don't ask me how that happens. I'm going to take transhumanist, and I'm going to take pain is virtue, and I'm going to flip a coin. Heads for transhumanist, tails for pain is virtue. I'm going to flip the coin three times so that we get no accusations of foul play, and then we'll take whatever result comes up twice. Then it is totally unpredictable. We've got one heads. If we get a second heads, it's transhumanist. It is. We're in then. Transhumanist. Pain is virtue would have been better, I will admit. Or more specifically, would have given us more bonuses, right? Because all of our people have a horrendous amount of scars. But transhumanist is still very good and very appropriate. It's gonna... What? Oh no. Uh, nutrient paste will no longer be disgusting. How terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that's, oh, that's ruined everything. Let me do a little customization here too. A Blind Life by Jacob Dutch Eboo. I don't know who the hell he is. I think Codex gets to write the narrative now. Well, Codex, that enormous paragraph sure is a stretch. Good luck finding all the eye puns in there. Hello. So, I think I'm happy with it. Do we want to do anything else? Is there anything else we need to do? Anything else we need to change? Is there anything that's been a big impact on the colony, I suppose, is a better question. If anything, diversity of thought, I think we should say is appreciated. And you know what? I'm going to throw in mechanoid labor enhanced because I think it makes perfect sense. Like, what would we do without all of these mechanoids? Makes the global work speed lower, but honestly, I think just thematically, it's so perfect. I can't ignore it. A careful dance. And we're going to have that to discover an ancient complex. I think that's super useful. The relics were totally random. So we could always take one away and add a new one that's a bit more appropriate. Kind of kind of surprised you can do this, to be honest with you. A minigun would be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> now, realistically, we've got to start thinking about the future. 350,000 wealth gets us to the next map for the Arco Nexus. This was meant to be a short series, so we're going to have to really pick up the pace. Look, like I said, Codex is a man who just wants his revenge. He'd do that by any means necessary. And I think maybe if he really gets desperate, we could look into the, the darker side of RimWorld, or the cliche crap. Uh, but as we expand out and give people bionics, now with the transhumanist meme, that's just going to naturally increase the wealth, and it's going to set a good baseline too. So if there's somebody I want to take, we should try and focus on, on, on converting them as soon as possible. People are saying you should take the raging... Bruh, can you not even give me five minutes? Hey, piss off! Mall Boomock! Yeah, so people are saying we should take the raging chef and ankle shank, because of course they're effectively his children that he raised from children. But if they don't believe his ideology, will they even want to go with him? Will he even want them to go with him? They have landed right in our freezer. They've come to liberate their brethren. Is that racist? Pigs together strong. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess we're not taking the raging chef then. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. He was killed by a transport pod. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The roof collapsed in on Raging Chef bashing his neck. He had his neck broken by an incoming transport pod. That is superb. I mean, not for Raging, not for raging Chef, obviously. Oh, I think Codex has got a mortal enemy. Those pigs just killed his son. That's a very, very good reason for revenge if I've ever heard one. Dennis, look, get over here. We're gonna need your... Ooh, that's a lot of people. Oh, one's called Meatball. That's very bizarre. That's like calling a human long pork. You got Warthog, Squiggle. If you want to light fire to that place, by all means. In fact... Oh, I was gonna say Raging Chef could light it on fire. But he can't, because he's dead. Are they actually just gonna... They're not very smart, are they? You've just... You've just wiped out your own people. 
I was kind of hoping they'd light it on fire and burn themselves down, but I really don't want them to take out that much of my crop. Let's control the flow here. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be really difficult. Let's get you into cover. <laughs> Where else am I going to put people in cover? There isn't any. Um, and Kushanka can piss off. Go ahead and get behind that statue. And then you go there? I, I think that's the best I've got. Oh, they have lit it on fire. Oh, you goddamn fools. You actual idiots. Oh, God. Okay, kill Porky. Kill Porky. What the hell is going on with Porky? They're so fast. Dennis Zog, you're on this. Um, melee attack Pong. Pong the tactician. Clearly not that tactical. Uh, let's get... Oh, God, Crafty's down already. Let's turn you on there. Let's get you out of there, because that seems a bit of a bloody mess. Or you just charge forward. That's also fine, I suppose. You know what? Send Dennis Zog in. Honestly, we should really send Dennis Zog in at this point. He could be quite good at getting a flank on them here. Go, 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 go. Get him. A little pork flank, you know. Lifter's taken away Raging Chef's body. Oh, that's so sad. That is so goddamn sad. Shoot that one. We might be able to get him to retreat. Oh, my God. They're so tanky. Get him, Dennis Zog. I really I really just do not want this fire to get out of control. Too. They, they are fleeing. We can focus on fighting the fire instead of fighting them, but they'll probably shoot us on the way out. Oh, God. Get, let them leave. Let them leave. Dennis Zog, don't fight them. Let them leave. Go on, get out of here, you shitbags. You can shoot if you're on the way back. I don't mind that. I think I think that's acceptable. Get a bit of revenge. Okay, let's, let's put this fire out fast, though, because we've got some very valuable stuff I don't want to burn, like that Masterwork Assault Rifle. An exotic goods trader. Well, that'll make up for his son being murdered. How's Crafty doing? You all right? I'm not losing anyone else here. Oh, shit. Birds, I get on Crafty. <gasps> what did you do with his body? You better not. You! I should have seen that coming. Oh my god, the robot just threw him straight in the incinerator. The robot didn't even think twice. Oh! <laughs> it's so tragic. <laughs> he hasn't even got a body to bury. I mean, to be fair, you could just hand him any body. You probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't know. Oh, I was going to say we didn't lose too much. I mean, we didn't lose too much that was in my control. That's the important part, right? We didn't lose too much that was directly under my control. There was nothing I could have done about... What's, what's his name? Poor sweet raging chef. Guilty. Yes, you are guilty. Yes, you are guilty. Can we execute them? Do we have some sort of execution ritual? Begin a public execution. Codex would love that. Honestly, Codex would absolutely love that. And I think on the plus side, I can turn this back into a prison because we've got a spare bedroom now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Oh, raging chef was such a good character. Oh, they were like such a key part of the colony as well. Shit. Now I haven't got a bloody chef. Is there a mechanoid that can cook? Is that a thing? I don't think that is a thing, though, right? No. Oh, Lord. Well, that's made things very difficult. On the plus side, they don't hate nutrient paste, so worst, worst case scenario, we can do something with that. Uh, you know what? No, drop Porky on the floor. Get them tended. Make sure they're alive. Make sure they're alive long enough for us to kill them dead. Captain Birdseye, get over here. Tend Porky. So the only person who needs urgently tending is sadness. They're the only one that's actually bleeding. The rest are all bruises, so we've, we've done all right there. We haven't done a terrible job. Oh, man. Well, that was a bit of excitement to kick things off, huh? Side trainer and word of inspiration of Flashstorm. Oh, man. There's also a gene pack for Deathless. Oh, it comes with the cost of Beardless, too. That's that's frightening. What is Deathless as a complexity of seven? Yikes. Oh, but it, it's such a hassle. I find the biotech stuff such a hassle. I don't think I'll worry about it. Let's go for... I mean, I mean, brain wiring for sure would, would lean into transhumanist a little bit. So I'll definitely take that. Just to double check then. We haven't lost too much, right? You're okay. You're doing fine. I mean, you're an absolute mess, but you're fine. Dennis Zog, there's barely anything left. Oh my god, he had both of his arms damaged in that last raid. Holy crap. Well, that's turning from one of our best combat characters into one of our worst almost immediately. Birds, I need to like... I mean, thank god we've gone for transhumanist, huh? Because we're going to need so many replacement limbs. For some goddamn miracle, Ankushanka is still fine. Despite the fact Ankushanka was the one with the grenades at the beginning. Codex is fully healed. Codex, how upset are you about that situation? How upset? One in your supercharge. Yeah, we'll do with that. Uh, colonist died. Minus three. That's it. So not devastated. I think internally probably more upset than, than, than what the mood tad lets on, you know? The game doesn't really take into account that the Codex raised them for all those years, right? Didn't take into account the Codex raised the, the, the raging chef. The game only cares about blood relations, which I don't think is particularly fair. I mean, that, that, was, that was like a son to Codex. Oh my god, the social fights are getting out of hand. Oh, everything. Society is breaking down. Please. Come on. Oh, the social fights in the base game are so ridiculous. They're so intense. You hadn't even healed from the bloody raid, and now you're beating the shit out of each other. Come on. If a raid turns up now, we're probably just dead 
incidentally. Everyone's upset because somebody died. Everyone is in pain from the raid that came as a side effect of that. So they're beating each other up. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. Oh my god. I'm a dislike xenotype. I cannot do anything about that. Bird's eye, I think we need to we need to convert. I think I'm going back to my idea that I floated yesterday. We need to convert them. This is just a lifetime of self-loathing. Uh, we need to also stay away from Captain Bird's eye now. Otherwise, they're probably just going to kill someone. They're also the doctor. Okay, forget about locking those doors then, I suppose. Go M, run. Captain Bird's eye's got an out for you. Oh, he's going to go beat that cow. Honestly, I hope that cow knocks you on your ass. It is a bull. Oh, you are done for. Don't die. Oh, God, don't die, please. Can I do anything about this? No, not really. Okay, you're down. That was probably the safest way that could have gone. I've recruited Flippers as a temporary doctor, which is terrible news because Flippers has three medical skill, but that's the best that we've got. Though I won't take the blame for this catastrophic domino effect that just happened, I can very much take the blame for not having a hospital set up yet. You're going to double down on the research. I can take you off of construction for a little while, that codex, because I think all the essential stuff's rebuilt. Yeah, the freeze is cold. That's really all I care about. Then we double down on the research with Codex. Mmm, a little battery. I will take sterile tiles if you don't mind. Oh, and that'll improve everyone's mood. Let's execute Porky. Porky, for your crimes against the seer people, you shall be executed for the death of poor sweet raging chef. You're, you're gonna die now. You're gonna die now, piggy. Die. 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 Satisfying. That was satisfying. You're right. That was very satisfying. Plus six moon for six days. Thank you, Piggy. I appreciate that one. Got blasted, Porky. Shove them into the incinerator. If I butcher... No. Just move on. <laughs> you don't know what I was going to ask. I could have asked anything. Given the codex is level 20, I'm just going to get Goat Hand to apply these tech prints because I think that will help with a little bit of experience. It seems a bit of a waste otherwise. There you are. Mighty Intellectual of Five. Well done. Codex, go back to work. We've got lots to do. Now it's not just punching our codex. We've also got to go punch a bunch of pigs as well. On the plus side, we have a new raging chef. It's Dennis Zog. The bad news is he's our best chef with only four cooking. So we are probably going to be in food poisoning central very soon. Oh my god, that is slightly problematic, isn't it? Um... Right, let's do my favorite thing in RimWorld, a little fly tipping. Doesn't matter where I dump it, it's going to piss off the Empire unless we travel very far. So I think we're just going to dump it basically as close as possible. In fact, we could just step out of our... Uh, as long as we go to that tile over and just dump it there, that's fine. Worst case scenario, acid rain, whatever. We'll annoy the Empire, but I can just send them some drugs and they'll shut up. I think even if I send the whole squad mechanoids and all, we're not going to be able to take even remotely close to all of these, are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's about, was that about a third of them? Brilliant. Mega sloth self-tained. Oh my good God. My friend, Derek Lodge. Welcome, Derek. It's been so long. Keeps getting overshadowed by all those ridiculous modded creatures. Not today, my friend. You're king in base game Rimworld. I mean, I suppose except for like Thrombo. Oh yeah, here we go. My favorite mechanic, base game caravanning. How long? Place your bets. How long do you think it's going to take them to leave the map? Place your bets. And they've cancelled it. I, I I just don't understand why base game caravanning is so horrendously difficult. 40 waste. Well dumped. Well done, squad. A little bit upset about it. Look, it's, it's what, like three mood? I can solve that. Scourge cluster. What are you giving me for that? Absolutely not enough. 1,600 giving me a big TV and some on some green green rocks. No. Deal with your own mechanoids. I mean, I'm not even dealing with my mechanoids. I think tomorrow, when everybody's awake, we'll go on another firm dumping because that worked out quite well. And it's one less thing for me to worry about. Oh, God, look at how much pollution has seeped out, though. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, um, right. Pollution removal area is now officially the entire bloody map. You know what might be a fantastic idea for the next map? We're transhumanist. Codex is now high Psylink. How do these things tie together? Mechanoids, of course. The next map, we can focus on turning this guy into a proper mechanator. Really go hard on that. Fight the Diabolus. Clear through the Apocryton. Do all of that stuff. Get the waste atomizers and build a little mechanoid army. Really lean into it super, super hard. You know what? Given that Dennis Zug is cooking all the meals, this sterile materials couldn't come up with a better time, huh? Anti-Dennis shittery. Hey, let's also take, while I'm here, some sort of hospital bed would be good. Maybe medical production. Maybe a vitals monitor. <laughs> Shit, maybe bio regeneration given the amount of limbs we're missing. This should be the final orbit of dumpage, and that should keep us that should keep us covered with the waste packs for a long, 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 long time. I hate I hate caravan forming. I hate caravan forming in the base game. It is impossible. It is impossible. It should not take 48 hours to get a caravan out the door. Oh, this time it was Mol Boomot that was angered. Oh well that's good. Oh, hey, ah, ooh, ah. 
Just act like you belong. Act like you belong. <laughs> These mechanoids are terrible, aren't they? Oh my god, what happened to the thrombo? Hello? Stab scar. Someone stabbed it in the brain, but it don't have long rot. Might have to go on a trading mission at some point to try and make a little silver so that my hospital beds work so that no one else's necks are instantly snapped by a drop pod falling on them. What do you mean that won't work? No, there's no such thing as instant bullshit death in this game. You must be mistaken. Why is he building them separately when every hospital bed can connect to a vitals mo- Listen to yourself. You sound insane. Have you ever seen a hospital in real life that looks like that? This is real life. I don't know what to tell you. It's been rimmled all along. Oh, well, that's just terrible. Who could have seen that coming, huh? Are you telling me what's left of Dennis Zug is not a competent chef? Could never have seen that coming. We really should build some bionics, shouldn't we? Oh, these poor people. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Hold on, though. One person's funny. Two person's a bit of a concern. Dennis. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. I guess we ate the last of uh, the Raging Chef's food. Maybe, before I do anything else, we replace the floor in the kitchen with sterile tiles. What are we lacking if I try and build that? Both silver and steel. Oh, God. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get a good straight soon. I'll just tell them whatever. Just whatever we've got. Hospital's coming along nicely. I'm moving the research bench into the hospital. Again, kill two birds with one stone. We can replace the floor. As soon as I can sell something. Hey, move this ambrosia. What the fuck? You're just leaving it on the floor? What do you mean no empty configured spot? Stick it in the freezer. Oh, there it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Hello, mass driver interstellar. Do I have some mass for you to drive, my friend? It's about uh, seven tons of yayo. Good to trading. Kids love yayo, yes, thank God for that. Okay, sell that, and then, uh, what have you got? Come back, Weaponino, thank you. Oh, but that would be cool, though. Transhumanist elbow blades, I never use elbow blades. Oh, that's so cool. I do need to save some money, but I never, ever use elbow blades, and this is the series for it. Base game Rim Rim. Psychic Sense Tivers would, would, would also be awesome because then we tick off the transhumanist thing for Codex. Let's sell some of Dennis Zug's marble statues. He's quite a multi talented guy. I, I mean, if you ignore the fact that he's shit at everything, he's very multi talented. <laughs> Nothing stays multi talented like half the colony throwing up on the floor. 663. That's not enough, is it? I sell all little plastic or something. I don't know. It's not worth selling. Sell them a little plastic. Don't go too crazy with that, though. I need that shit. Oh, God. That's the best I can do. Boy, I hope that's enough. Boy, I hope that's enough. Oh, I can, I can maybe stretch to sell some more stuff. How much do we need? 1,200 for that floor, and then another... What was it for in here? Let's just take a rough guess. Probably about 500. Okay, I'm going to sell a bit more shit then. I sold a bit more gold, a bit more plaster. Well, that's it. We can't stretch any further than that. That's the end. Goodbye. I should probably buy some glass of medicine so that we can get that psychic sensitizer installed on Codex. Okay, that's it. I promise I'm not selling any more. Just enough glitz wall medicines to keep us going for a little while. I should have bought it in multiples of two, because then at least we could do the operations. Fuck it. That's it. That's enough. Oh my god, a double whammy of pure nonsense. We've got the Archeo Nexus quest at long last. 350,000 colony wealth. You get the quest, if I'm not mistaken, at 150,000, so we must have just crossed over. Yeah, there you go. Okay, not bad. And then the other quest is way more interesting. The Shadow Gathering. Sanguifage is coming to meet some other Sanguifage. We can either take a Xenogerm implantation... Or a silent neuroformer. We don't really need the neuroformer. We've got as many neuroformers as we've got eyes to peel. Do I want to turn someone into a bloody sanguifage, though? Oh, God. Who would I even turn into a sanguifage might be a better question. I mean, we do quite literally have a child with the ideology of bloody teeth. I mean, it is just free real estate, isn't it? I, I mean, it's free. There's no downside to it. I will take it. I'll take this Xenogerm implantation. We'll talk about who gets in a second. My God, it's the spooky bastards. Please stop calling people slag. You can't call them that. It's terrible connotations in the UK. What do you think they're talking about in there, huh? Probably crochet, to be honest. If you know spooky people. <laughs> that is big dick energy. I like that, Crafty. Crafty hears you. Crafty don't care. That was incredible. I like that so much. Just total disrespect on all sides, huh? Did you just try and convert Swifter to your ideology? You can't do that. And now before the ritual completes, we should have a pretty serious conversation about who we're taking to the Arco Nexus because naturally giving that individual the Sanguifage Xenotype would make them ridiculously powerful. I think... Okay, okay. As an argument for Goatham, right? I, I think we've got... Of course, we're taking Codex. That's not a question. Goatham fills in a very unique position that Codex does not have, Right? 150% social learning speed, 14 social already is pretty enormous. Without Codex, this whole colony falls apart. We move to the next place because we can't get new seers. 
Sadness is already a seer, but Sadness is already average. They've got good shooting skill, which you know, a lot of characters have good combat skills. But then Plants 13 Double Passion is one of those skills that isn't really massively relevant, especially when we've got Mechanoids that can deal with that. You good? Where's my... Where's my Xenotype? You're just going to walk away. No, you see, there must be some sort of confusion here, because you, you motherfuckers... What's the... Shadow Gathering. You promised me a Xenogerm implantation, and now you've just walked away. All right, then. Never mind, I suppose. What are you talking about? Hey, what, I was going to turn Codex into a vampire. I was going to turn Codex into a vampire. You know why? Because Sangra Pages have Arco genes and know thy enemy. That's that's what they are in law. We, we might think they're vampires, bloodsuckers, whatever, but they are just, they, they're just Arco gene-empowered people. And that's what I was going to do because he's all about punching the Arco text. But no, I guess not, then. Okay. Oh, I looked it up. There are loads of people complaining about it. That's good. That makes me feel better because I know there are other people suffering too. That really does please me. We might as well go back and have this conversation. Anyway, who am I taking the Arco Nexus? Who am I going to fill with that last slot? Really, it comes down to who's the most useful. Crafty's good, of course. Uh, double passion in crafting with 12 crafting is great. Dennis Zug has a double passion in melee, double passion in crafting, and that artistic skill. You're also neurotic and fast walker, which is very, very good. Whereas Crafty doesn't have very good traits. Captain Birdseye has uh, effectively just melee, given that socials are relevant and the constructor bots are better. You've only got the brawler trait. Sadness only has plants double passion, which I'm not a big fan of. Ugly also causes social fights quite a lot because they dislike them. Oh, no, it's going to be Dennis Zug, isn't it? Oh, flip flippers. Uh, there's an argument for flippers. Fast walker and tough, but your combat skills aren't very good. And if I'm rebuilding a colony, starting with a lot of wealth, because we're going to have bionics and stuff like that, and of course, better armor and, and silence and whatever, we're going to need better defenses immediately. And I don't think you're it. Oh, God, Dennis Zug is actually, I think, the best option. I think it's really hard to argue against that. And Ankle Shanker, look. Ankle Shanker is Codex's favorite child, okay? <laughs> Recently was promoted to the rank of favorite child. Uh, Ankle Shanker is terrible. She is terrible. She's unthinkably bad. Sanguine is fine. Uh, Trigger Happy is also uh, fine. So your skill set is really just lacking somewhat. I think Codex knows that where he's going, there's no return. And I don't think Codex would be happy taking his only begotten, begotten daughter into... The Arco Nexus to go punch the Arco Tex. she never come back from that. She deserves a life, goddammit. I guess Dennis Zug. I guess Dennis Zug. If I give him the Elbow Blades as well. Oh, we could do so much with this man. I, I don't Elbow Blades uh, get used 50% of the time. What happened to Sadness? Oh, God, don't look over there. What the hell? Oh, that's so spooky. Oh, they called for some friends. How lovely. Am I going to have to worry about this one? Weather controller for fog. Oh, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. One left the one left the one. What have you done? Okay, this is fine. I can manage this. Everyone's, everyone's dropping the weapons because of all the bloody social fights all the damn time. Where are all your weapons? <laughs> Let me just comb through this stockpile and see if I can find it. You know, I get the feeling he's probably not going to survive this. Sorry, Lifter 1. You could be in a lot of trouble there, pal. Oh, God. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Take it out, take it out, take it out. It's almost done. Ankle Shanker, get over there. Ankle Shanker, get over there. We're still fine. We're still fine. Oh, God. No, no, no. Kill that one. That one's way more important. Take that one out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go Ham's here with no weapon. It's, uh, I, I can't find them. I don't know where the fucking weapons have gone. And I haven't got the search tool to try and find the damn weapons. Scyther's dead. Scyther's dead. We're fine. One less Scyther. And then that thing's almost, almost gone. Flippers, are you going to, like, extinguish the other? Are you just going to stand there on fire, you little moron? Ooh. Well, they killed the pipeman too. I didn't even notice the bloody pipeman. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Well, that's done with that problem then. And then we've just got to melee the rest. Oh, well, that was far easier than I give them credit for. Thank you, squad. They've really got it in for Lifter 1. What's wrong with you? Just piss off. Oh, Dennis Zug has his axe. Where did you find that? Dennis Zug? Oh, God, they're all coming over. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Very manageable. Very manageable. I, mean, I know the bull's trying to... This is where the bull's roaming away. The these doors are held open. Do they hate it here this much that the second they see an open crack in the door with a death button in it, they try and push past? Dickhead cows. Okay, bear with me on this one. Bear with me on this one. This is the Dennis Zug show now. We can We can pull this off. We can pull this off. Okay, you stand there. Uh, let's draft you up and just get everyone else going to bed. And then we can just solo this with Dennis. It's no problem. It's no problem. I got this covered. The second you take that out, you're going to have to run like hell. In fact, let's put you there. It just saves you running slightly further. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Dennis, 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 Dennis. You know what I need? Jetpacks. Jetpacks. I love jetpacks. Okay. Well, okay, this is fine. That master won't shield out. He's basically untouchable anyway. We're fine. Ah, uh, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. I have full confidence. 
And another one down. Okay, nice work. And then how can we get to that one? We can't, really. Good luck. You're gonna have to fight over the top of it. Oh, careful. Oh, careful. And what, what the hell am I gonna do about this? This is a slightly larger issue, I assume. Weather control is gone, so now I can shoot things. I'll take that apart in a second. I, I do think Dennis Oak could take this. Ah. <sighs> I mean, the minimum range of those is fine. So if we take that one out first, go for that one, move to here, take this one out, then that one can't see him. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. This might be, my, this might be the last thing that Dennis Dirk ever does, but I have a plan. I have somewhat of a plan. Ha, ha, ha. He's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Okay, he goes there, approaches from the side of cover. This is good. This is bad. This is bad. I've, I've killed Dennis Dirk. I've killed Dennis Dirk. Oh, God. It's fine. Trust the process. Go, go, go. He moves down into there. Okay, that's unfortunate, but fine. That one can't shoot him. Oh, God. Move, move, move here, move here, move here, move here, move here. There you go, there you go. Move down, move down, move down. Dennis, 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 Dennis. You good? All right, stay there. Oh, God, I didn't think that explosion would be that far. Why would I want to look here? I'm in the middle of something. Go, go. You beautiful man. Okay, okay, okay. Get out, 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 get out. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Oh, my God. I thought he was dead. I thought that just killed Dennis Zug. I thought that just killed Dennis Zug. It was unnecessary to send him in by himself, but I, was, I, didn't, I didn't want anyone else to get hurt. They're already so hurt. There's already so little of them left. Go get Dennis Zug. Captain Birds, actually, get out of here. Come send him immediately, please. Oh, my God. What a mess. So I'm building uh, building an armory. I'm building an armory over here because I'm sick of having to look for all these frigging weapons that get left all over the map. It's insane. I just can't believe that. <laughs> oh, Dennis. What happened? I get up here, 10 Dennis Zug. Oh, oh, Flippers is on it. Yeah, that's great. No, 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 no. I think we're all right, Captain Birdseye, please. 70% tank quality. The man's fine. Okay, the man's going to be good. The man would be better if I made him some just replacements for everything. Oh, my God. He's lost so much at this point. I'm going to have to make two arms and two legs. Uh, this isn't just going to be a generic super soldier project. Like, he legitimately needs everything replacing at this point. Jesus Christ. How does anybody play this? It is just raid after raid after raid after incident. Good God. Just give me five minutes to do the things I want to do. I would like to build a base. I'm trying to get to the fucking Arco Nexus. It's not hard at all. We can deal with this no problem. It's a bunch of pikemen. But it's just, it's, it's that constant feeling of something breathing down your neck. Somebody in the comment section ready to pounce with misinformation. It's just like that constant feeling of un, un, uneasiness. Uh, given that we haven't got carpets, and that would have been far more convenient given the 3,000 cloth that we've got, I had to resort to fine marble tiles for the frigging uh, uh, ideology room so that we convert people a little quicker. This stockpile is a nightmare. Is a nightmare waiting to happen. I should really get fire foam poppers, but I can't be controlled. Okay, let's try this conversion ritual again then. So Captain Birdseye, 66% chance. You're you telling me that's only a 98.8 out of 120. Uh, you know what? It's not worth it. For the last 3%, it's not worth it. That wasn't worth it, given that it gave me an extra percent. If this is not uh, uh, an instant conversion, I'm going to be very annoyed. Thank you. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. You got damn right it was. Okay, now Captain Birdseye is going to be happy and fine. Look at all this self-confidence she's gained. She no longer thinks that she's a bad xenotype. She no longer thinks other people is a bad xenotype. She's just happy. Well, she's not. She wants her eyes now peeled. We really opened her eyes to the situation. <laughs> what I should be focusing on going is Dennis Zug if we're going to take him with us. Look at how many raids we've had. It's just nonsense. Now, obviously, I haven't shown all of these in the video because a lot of them have just been very, very boring. Uh, like like, like waves uh, ascending deer mad. And then because we've got the traps everywhere, they're just running in. You can see where they've done it right here. They run in, they fall on the traps, they die, that's it. I'm not spending five minutes of a video on that of me going, wow, look at the deer. I haven't got the time or energy or, or effort for <laughs> well, that type of thing. But the raids themselves, where people could actually die and we actually have to fight, sure. Sure, that's fine. Maybe my frustration comes from a place that uh, isn't totally aligned with what people are watching. Because, uh, again, I've taken some of it out. Occasionally, we get a mad boomerlope that will turn up and die on the traps and then burn half the fucking base down. It's very annoying. It's just very, very annoying. Although, in my brain, this has been perfect series, right? Because in my brain, I now have a, a list. I, oh, I also expanded the Fraser. I have a quintessential list of stuff that is, like essential as far as i'm concerned to play in the game the search mod has gone up my rankings the amount of times i'm pressing the hotkey for it and it's not happening it's just it's just in my brain it's muscle memory oh is that two bionic arms wait build complete bionic arm oh 
Dennis Zog, it's a good day to be you, my friend. My god, the allow tool as well, pressing home, trying to unforbid all the bloody items automatically. Not having that is a damn nightmare. Not being able to haul things urgently is a goddamn nightmare. When the series is over, I'll, I'll have my thoughts. You know, I might put together a mod pack of, like, bare essentials. Bare essentials where it's just performance stuff and then, uh, and then, like, the, the really important things that, again, I've been missing throughout the series, like that allow tool and the, the everything else. That way, you got a really nice basic mod pack. What's wrong with goat ham? Muscle parasites and a psychite. <laughs> when the hell did you get a psychite addiction? My guy. Oh, I suppose I suppose he's fairly normal when you've got Captain Bird's Iron Flippers. Maybe he's experimenting so we could try and see the art codex. Maybe he's jealous of Codex. They both believe the same ideology, but Codex has met and seen the the art codex. Whereas Goham, I don't think, has been quite so lucky. Not at all. Oh, what's interesting about, about Goham is Goham can connect to the anima tree. Natural meditation type and law keeper is a tribal backstory, isn't it? Oh, shit. Well, that could be a different direction to take Goham so they could kind of achieve a similar thing. Maybe for the next base. I'll stop rambling and then we'll start wrapping things up. Thank you for joining me today. We had a very important character moment right at the beginning of the episode. And then not much else throughout the whole thing besides inconvenience and the game being a massive pain in the ass. Now, for reference, uh, and I'll talk about this at the start of tomorrow's episode because the Zoomers aren't going to have lasted this long, let's be honest. I'm going to uh, I I'm, I'm going to adjust the amount of money we need to get to the Arco Nexus. This is meant to be a short series. I will increase the difficulty to make up for it. So that way it'll be it'll be faster and harder and and stronger and other such uh, thinly veiled double entendre to get to the Arco Nexus, right? Otherwise we're gonna be here potentially till February. And I'm not about that. It's meant to be a small gap filler series while I work on the next mod pack, which is not generation two, because of reasons I'll explain uh, in more detail later run. Haha, <laughs> it's the meme. Generations 2 is delayed, but this is for good reasons this time. Things that I can't yet talk about. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to Texas Yardbird, Bling Magica, Warseeker99994, Taff, Silent, Sentinel, Omega, Lupus, Big Daddy Mr. Hunt, Critical Hat, Thomas the Dank Engine, Burnt, Breadbits, Lucian Void, Mr. Scratch, David, F83, Elias, H. Bick Grizzly, Sim, Ophelia Bolzich, Honey Delalio, Boop, Feather Blacker, I Am Sagatair, Cubes of Ham, Dust, and Cryon for their support. The executive producer is on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Glad you're here. Hope you're enjoying a bit of base game vanilla remod. It's starting to grate on me a little bit, I will admit. It, it's starting to lull, and the appeal is starting to wear off, which is why I think the base reset with the Arca Nexus is perfect for this situation, because then we can start again. You know, different base aesthetic, different approach to things, and, and test out some other base game stuff. I, I think that is a good idea, and I think we just need to run to that as fast as possible at this stage. Thank you as well to Alcatraz, David Van Diepen, Witcher Geralt, Christine, Audrey, Hershenson, Citatus, Lingua, Bucky, Pair of Pants, Stormcrow, Bleed, Thomas DeSantis, Alex Hill, Dr. Louis, Dramatic Willow, and Luna Chandelure as well. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. So long. <laughs>